the MV Commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship 2019. Literally a very warm welcome to Thruxton, the fastest circuit on the calendar for the MV Commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship. Very great to see you back on track as we come to Thruxton uh, round here. Now we didn't see you at Pembrey. Yeah, I've got a very busy year this year, uh, one thing or another. So obviously I don't want to get rusty, so we're sort of doing, handpicking a few of the uh, meetings. We will be at Germany for the next meeting, um, but we look at doing probably four or five out of the eight, and then next year hopefully back full time. How's the truck, truck going so far? Uh, well, we rebuilt it over the winter period, um, so yeah, we've done a major sort of uh, refurb on it really, lots of changes to it. Here's how they qualified here at Thruxton. Ryan Smith, the championship leader on pole from Dave Jenkins and Ricky Collett. In Division 2, Paul Rivette clear of championship leader Luke Garrett with Steve Powell in third. Simon Cole next up from Adam Bint and John Powell. Just in the qualifying times and third, so something's gone pretty well so far. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, straight out of the box uh, with his new engine. We had it for Ransatch, but unfortunately had some teething troubles and uh, didn't get it back in time for Pembrey, so this is his first run out with it. So it boards very well, with uh, a few more settings to change and hopefully we'll be on the front of the grid. The power comes in much quicker now than what it did before, before you had to really rev the engine to, to get the best out of it, whereas now you, <clears throat> you don't, you just let it uh, grunt away and, and pull, you, pull you through. A fantastic start for the weekend and uh, what a great circuit to drive these trucks around as well, you know, it's so quick out the back there. Um, I know the circuit really well anyway, I used to work at the race school here and have raced here many times in, uh, in Clio's and other cars as well, so uh, yeah, it's fantastic. It's the first qualifying session that we've actually um, got to compete in properly this year. You know, Brand's the first one we had uh, issues with the turbo plate blowing off, Pembry we didn't even make qualifying, so uh, so it's nice to, to get out and actually get a proper qualifying session in and, uh, and nice to be starting for the front, on the front row for the first time. Paul Rivet rightly pleased with pole position, but it was Luke Garrett who headed the trucks into a very busy opening lap here on the fastest track in the country. The action came thick and fast in Division 2. Luke Garrett came through for another win from Paul Rivet, Simon Cole in third. In Division 1, Ryan Smith on pole position was initially headed by David Jenkins and his two arch championship rivals fought tooth and nail right the way around the track. It was Ryan Smith, championship leader, winning from Jenkins with Rick Collett in third. Very hard race that. We're over the moon from, from Pembury. We broke down in Pembury, had endless issues there. The truck's got the pace now, we're getting there. We was catching Paul as well, which I reckon another lap we probably might have got second. Uh, yeah, it's hard race by Steve, but me and Steve always race close. It's good, it's good racing. The first of our reverse grid races for Division 2. And on pole position, it is Jim Bennett and Trevor Martin, two great mates off circuit. And they're about to get going with Adam Bint on row two. Brad Smith is next up from Eric Forstrom. And on row three, the yellow number three machine of Steve Powell. Then it's Simon Cole and Luke Garrett there in the 42. So watch for lights out. The lights go out now. Is it going to be Jim Bennett or Trevor Martin to lead them away? Jim looks a little bit recalcitrant off the line. And it is Trevor Martin who leads quick start from Luke Garrett. Jim Bennett being swallowed up by all the other trucks. Simon Cole about to go to his inside with Eric Forstrom to the outside of him. But it's Trevor Martin leading from Brad Smith who looks around the outside line in the dash. Steve Powell in yellow is third. Luke Garrett already up to fourth. Side by side at the moment with Adam Bint and should consolidate that with the inside line on the second part of the complex. But Binty has got the inside line for Seagrave and manages to lead that around but a little bit of a run I think happening with Luke Garrett 
Brad Smith trying to get momentum here and he's going to come offline and sees a gap and looks at the inside line of the EG Martin truck who has seen him good awareness from Trevor Martin there in the race lead and it's Brad Smith who goes through into the race lead we've not seen Brad on the top step of the podium he has been on the podium this year Brad Smith but not on the top step it uh, doesn't get any easier truck racing you have to maintain the form maybe improve the performance of the truck up into second goes Steve Powell Brad incidentally fifth in the championship Steve Powell third in the standings there is Luke Garrett who's now got ahead of Adam Bint so climbing up Woodham Hill for the first time in this one and Trevor Martin about to be challenged by the 42 Steve Powell is going for the lead took a very wide line into the chicane there behind our camera the massed ranks of spectators cheering on getting some very spectacular views of Binti getting it sideways out of the chicane Simon Cole to the inside Steve Powell to the inside of the race leader has a look hasn't quite got the momentum to do it massed ranks on the banks here right the way around this two mile circuit and there is plenty of viewing here at Thruxton the only downside to a meeting is the queuing to get in and maybe the queuing to get out, but it's well worth it with so many great vantage points on these big events as Trevor Martin. Look at this, the size of these trucks, how they handle them around the twists and turns of not only the chicane, but the complex where they are now. Binti up into fourth, Trevor Martin down to fifth and challenging back. Martin not giving up without a fight, but Adam Bint in the newly relivered for this year, Volvo White has only actually had two classified finishes so far this season. You won't uh, thank me for reminding you of that fact. There is Eric the Viking, Eric Forstrom, race winner at Brands Hat. Won the opening race of the year in the Sisu. He's had a little bit of a struggle since then. And in truck with the race leader, Brad Smith, in the uh, second of our four. Division 2 MV Commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship events here. Steve Powell giving chase. So too is Luke Garrett, who's looking to make it two out of two here. Garrett with four wins so far this year. Leads the championship on 138 points. Paul Rivette second on 112. Steve Powell is third on 99. So Powell's aim this weekend to try and close down on Paul Rivette, who's a little way back in shot at the moment as the leaders come through the chicane once again. Adam Bint here, I think he's showing much, much better form this weekend. The Bint racing machine going well, and Brad Smith coming under pressure here from Steve Powell, who looks wide. He's got Luke Garrett right behind this. Binti, Paul Rivette, second in the championship next up. Then John Powell, followed by Eric Forstrom. So the reverse screen right through into the lead. Steve Powell's got the lead. Superb stuff around Allard now down into the uh, complex. They go, and Steve Powell's got the lead. Brad Smith demoted to second. Luke Garrett will try and put a move on him as well. Might well wait till they're out of the complex. No, he doesn't. He has a sniff down the inside line at Seagrave. Let's have a look from the onboard of Brad Smith. Are we going to see Luke Garrett come through on the inside? No, we're not. Brad moves over to the right-hand side of the track, so defensive there. No, Luke Garrett's lost a little bit of ground. Adam Bint trying to close in on them, but it's Steve Powell who leads this race and Steve looking for a third win of the season Steve Powell He's on 99 points at the moment so this assuming he finishes and no reason to suspect that he won't will take him up across the 100 point barrier for the season 15 points for a win 14 for second and so on down reducing by one point per place in the top 15 fastest lap of the race also gains another point so if you have a problem in the race you have to pick you can come back out try and grab the points as we watch Jim Bennett man from Bungay and the Seddon Atkinson's had a good number of finishes Jim and still 14 points shy of Simon Cole as Luke Garrett now negotiates Brad Smith to go second so Smith down to third Adam Bint busy chasing to try and come up and pass him as well So Steve Powell out front and few would bet against Steve Powell in this race. Now he's got the lead but he's coming under pressure from arch rival Luke Garrett out front. Fastest lap at the moment is with Garrett. Brad Smith still running in third. Binti wants a bit of that though. Binti would love another podium. 
Adam, who is uh, working real hard at the moment in the number five chart, the man from Whitney. But Brad Smith holding sway at the moment in that third place. The reverse grid racing, absolutely spot on for these trucks. They say that overtaking is uh, a premium in motorsport, but these boys do it whatever the weather, whatever the conditions, and whatever circuit they're racing on. Look at Luke Garrett trying to hunt down on Steve Powell. This could be Steve's third win of the season, so he is gunning for it. Here is the view from the third place man, Brad Smith, still chasing hard. Let's reset the camera, as you can see, bottom right, but hey, it's uh, giving us great shots on the far side of this awesome circuit here at Thruxton. And here comes Luke Garrett having a look on the inside line there of Steve Powell, but the Dines truck holds on. And now Garrett's being forced to go up Woodham Hill onto the outside line, maybe trying to get Steve to cover the outside line to perhaps switch back for a gap on the inside. But Steve is wise to that. Great race craft there from Steve Powell. Will not be harried or forced into a move by Luke Garrett. And it's Steve Powell that leads out of the chicane down towards the chequered flag Steve Powell takes the win second position goes to Luke Garrett the gap just half a second third place is Brad Smith great result for Brad a second podium of the season for him but it was Steve Powell that took the honours in that one a third win of the year from Luke Garrett and Brad Smith Adam Bim fourth from Paul Rivette and John Powell Eric Forstrom seventh from John Bowler and Trevor Martin Jim Bennett completing the top ten Steve, for me, that's got to be one of the best races I've seen so far this season for you. Yeah, it was good, yeah. We've had a good couple of close ones this year, but that was brilliant. We had uh, Brad held off really well for about three laps. And I thought, if I can get past him, I've got an half a chance. And then we did, we gapped Luke a bit, and then the tyres went off at the end of it, and he caught me up a bit. But like, I wouldn't usually go around the outside around that bin, but I tried the inside three laps, and it didn't work. So I thought, I've got to have a go, you know. Luke was catching in on me and the others, so, so uh, and I see the last lap ball, so we just took it home, you know. So, now, brilliant race, good for the team. You know, obviously, fair play to Brad. It was uh, he made us work for it. Obviously, Steve broke away first, so um, it was my, my time to get past Brad. Um, but yeah, once I was past Brad, obviously, it was just on the hunt to catch Steve. But uh, as you know, on this track, we've got a load of tyre fade and brake fade, and it just you know, run out of time really, but maybe another lap we could have been there. Just saying to Steve, your progress over the last few years as regards to race craft and style, you held some good lines there for the first half of that race at least. Yeah, I know we had to get out in front from the start and see what gap I could extend. I knew they'd be coming, but that was it to make it as wide as possible. Through the complex, it's all about getting that the corner right and the first corner, then breaking it in the, in the next one so yeah I, I tried my best. This livery on this truck looks amazing the performance is good as well but I believe you're going to possibly put it on the market in order to actually finance the new truck in development. Yeah it's up for sale at the minute and we're trying to see what who's out there to buy and progress into the sport it'd be an ideal way to get into the sport it's a competitive truck and it it's a truck that needs to be loved and driven properly. The new truck is still still mid build at the minute and uh, if it sells, it, we'll be selling for a couple of race times, so then hopefully we can get to the new truck out for later on in the year. The last race you just did, great racing. People don't realise how hard it is on tyres. You've probably got the best example of what it's like tyres-wise after one race. Yeah, it's very dangerous around here, very hot today and very abrasive. If you want to have a look at the tyre, it's, uh, it's very, very worn and to the point where it's ripping apart and it might have blown out in a couple of laps, but uh, you've got to keep pushing. The first reverse grid race for Division 1 here at Thruxton with Ray Coleman on pole, John Newell to his outside, Mark Taylor and Richard Collett on the second row, David Jenkins and Ryan Smith completing the grid. Ryan Smith extended the championship lead by two points in race number one, he took the win and the fastest lap, so he is five points clear now of David Jenkins. John Newell third in the standings. That is Mark Taylor, who we're on board with. He is fourth. It's a good start by everybody around Allard for the first time in towards the complex. Complex consists of the first corner of the left where they are now. Mark Taylor challenging Richard Collett. He's seen off Collett. He's going to look on the inside line of John Newell. There's a gap there. And I think they've clattered. So through Campbell, this is Cobb corner. They're still side by side. Mark using some of the runoff. And John Newell, who's right on him there. They're side by side. 
and contact between the two. Newell goes off on the grass, Taylor threw it to second place and John Newell has to get it back on track. Look how hard he has to work. Switches, gear, steering, so much to do on these uh, trucks these days, but John Newell is now in sixth position. Mark Taylor is in second. Richard Collett challenging him so good to see the Halifax man back on the pace. Race winner here at Thruxton in the past, probably taken many over his careers, but uh, since we've been covering it, I remember him winning the was it race five a couple of seasons ago, four race format, of course, this year, as... Richard now heads the two Taylors team truck side by side. The left-hand one is the reigning champion. Ryan Smith making the move on his teammate as they climb Woodham Hill. Richard Collett still second. This is allowing Ray Coleman to get away at the moment. So Coleman, the race leader. Ryan Smith knew he was going to get that. So another pass executed by Ryan Smith. If you count it up, how many passes Ryan and David Jenkins do over the course of the season. Jenkins about to put one in there on Mark Taylor and nip through into fourth place, which he does. The Digraph Hyab back machine going through into fourth position. Mark Taylor down to fifth. And then John Newell. John's going to be John's on the grass. He's going to be very keen to close up on Mark Taylor and nick that place back from him. Um, I'm guessing without the side-by-side the, the, uh, side -side rubbing that we had on lap number one, but it was all good spectator stuff down there as Richard Collett is now being challenged by Ryan Smith, and Smith read that well. The multi-champion goes through on the inside line. Richard Collett fighting well, though. That new engine working well for Richard Collett. I tell you what, the podium is not going to be that far away for Richard Collett here in the 95 truck. Running well, although he's got the Digraph logo looming in his mirrors. Very large indeed. And Dave Jenkins will be after another podium. Jenkins' aim here is to keep Ryan Smith very, very much within sight. But Richard Collett is putting the pressure on the championship leader. Meanwhile, Ray Coleman is out front, the man from Potter's Bar leading this race. It will be so good to see Ray Coleman uh, bag a podium today. If not a win, he had a podium at Brands Hatch in race four. And you heard him chatting to Barry at the start of the programme. A limited campaign this year. So good to see him out. He's going to be out next time at the Nürburgring as well. As Ryan Smith looking comfortable ahead of Richard Collett now in third. Collett still fending off David Jenkins. And then that great battle for fifth behind. John Newell trying to get back in front. Ryan Smith's teammate Mark Taylor. Mark who has had a, a brace of podium this year. Podium at Brands Hatch. And also in, was it race two at Pembury? No, race one at Pembury, race two at Brands Hatch. So two podiums, first career podiums for Mark Taylor. Not going to be a podium in this one unless fortunes go awry for these guys as talking of podiums. Dave Jenkins goes through to third place, passes Richard Collett. And it is uh, now... Ryan Smith out front from Ray Coleman so Smith leading from Coleman and Ryan Smith on his way fastest lap again lights a blaze for him look how much of a lead he's developed as diving down the inside line here is Ray Coleman but David Jenkins has got the inside and claim second position Richard Collett might get the whiff of a podium as well as they head towards church John Newell has recovered magnificently from that incident on lap one but it is Ryan Smith who leads the way here in this one, having built up a, a very, very big lead. Jenkins has done all that he can, and this is damage limitation for David Jenkins, although, having said that, Ray Coleman, who was alluding to maybe being a little bit race rusty in his interview, is far from it, and this is looking like a podium for Ray Coleman, but it's going to be another win for Ryan Smith, and it's going to be win number seven of the 2019 campaign. He will move on to 150 points, I think, after this one. I'll have to double check that for you. Showboats for the crowd here. He's got the time to do that before he gets to the checker. Smith wins. The gap on the last lap was about 10 seconds and they're fighting and squabbling. And it is David Jenkins who takes second now clear from Ray Coleman with Richard Collett fourth. John Newell closing down on Richard Collett for fifth place and Mark Taylor who is still running in sixth position, but another fine, hard-earned win for the championship leader and defending champion, Ryan Smith.
Confirmation of the result, Jenkins second from Ray Coleman who completes the podium. Two out of two, first place is there. I think that second one you probably enjoyed more, fighting the way from the back. Yeah, it's a lot better fighting our way through the back and obviously we had the pace and we just picked us time and, and space and uh, yeah, fantastic crowd turnout as well. Uh, but all the guys are going well. The next race is cut all, all trucks, so a lot more overtaking, which will be better. Uh, just a quick mention, this is Harry. He's come to support truck racing. I've just given him my first place trophy and uh, uh, he's really excited. So it's about working with fans and giving a little bit back. They pay a lot of money to come and watch us and we've got to put a show on. And uh, yeah, today's, today's been a good day so far. Ray, we talked about the uh, improvements to the truck and that certainly paid off there. You, you held your pace there for a long time. Yeah, no, it was good. The truck was a lot better. Uh, we've done quite a few orations, as I said yesterday. Um, and we was more or less on the pace there. So now we're going to go back, watch the footage, do a couple more adjustments. You know, there's only a, probably a second or so in it. Um, and let's see what this afternoon brings. But yeah, certainly happy with that. And the truck was handled a lot better. So thanks for the team. And also the catering side. Because that, that makes a big difference. <laughs> Steve, we're a 2019 season, a busy one. We're already round three. Now, I've got to say, this inner paddock is looking very impressive. It's all going well, isn't it? Yeah. You know, we've got large crowds here this weekend. We've got our new title sponsor that's just starting to fit in. We've got lots of trade and industry. So the atmosphere in the paddock's better. The standard of uh, truck preparation is really good again. You know, teams really put in a lot of effort to... Uh, present their trucks as smart as they can be. But even the mechanics of it, the, the engines, the cleaner burning fuels, etc. We're, we're, we're getting there now. Yeah, we've introduced a new BTRA safety mechanic. So hopefully any small problems can be ironed out before they actually go out on the track and uh, lose valuable track time. We've got a show truck parade. We've got everything for the family, really. Yeah, well, obviously, this is the home of BARC, their home circuit. We've got a Red Hours, hours uh, Fly Pass, which is I'm really happy about. But we've also got show truck parades on Sunday. We've got 120 local hauliers trucks here on show. So, you know, this really is a weekend family truck festival. Race three of the weekend, a combined grid. Fastest off the front, but Division 1 and Division 2. Ryan Smith on pole for Division 1 with David Jenkins alongside Paul Rivette and Luke Garrett are on pole for Division 2. The grid's here, the second fastest of each driver's lap times from the qualifying session yesterday. So two races for the race fans to enjoy here. The Division 1 ranks here. Ryan Smith already gets an early lead. Dave Jenkins to his outside, Richard Collett third. Then it's Mark Taylor and John Newell side by side again. Those two renewing their uh, battle with Ray Coleman in sixth position off the start. Ray really showing some pace after qualifying. Division two boys get underway. Paul Rivette is passed off the line again by Luke Garrett. We've got uh, Eric Forstrom towards the back. Back with the Division one runners. And they're already at the complex. Richard Collett is now being chased by John Newell. who has got ahead of Mark Taylor. Paul Rivette running in second place now from pole position chasing Luke Garrett the earlier race winner Paul Rivette gets it sideways and bang not what we wanted to see that is a very very heavy hit on Rivette's truck it looked like Paul lost the back end we didn't see from the outfield why that was could have been avoidance might have been a mechanical problem but Steve Powell has given that a very heavy knock and that's second and third in the championship both out of the race as championship leader Luke Garrett will extend the championship lead here if he finishes it real big time. He's already got a lead of 30 points in the championship. Now you saw some tyre smoke there from Eric Forstrom immediately ahead. That's what it looks like from Brad Smith's truck. So Jenkins second chasing Ryan Smith who has got such a huge lead at the moment. And Smith doing what he has been doing so well this year putting the Taylor's truck on pole position and then getting away and starting to build a very early lead there is Adam Bid from Eric Forstrom who is really struggling we saw him struggling with that tyre the tyre smoke it's caused even more problems and uh, it's just not gripping the one thing you need around trucks and there's plenty of grip and Eric Forstrom looks like it's going to be a retirement for the Sisu I reckon only his third retirement of the year
Eric Forstrom sadly into retirement and it is Ryan Smith who is well clear now there is another track between Ryan's another truck between Ryan Smith and this trio and that is the truck of David Jenkins who is in second place but as we focus on these three having a great battle for third place Richard Collett third John Newell in fourth place and then Ray Coleman in fifth Ray keeping in touch with the podium battle he won't do so by kicking up dirt line I love the comment about thanking the caterers what, what a thoughtful man Ray Coleman is There's so many uh, everyone thanks teams and that but not nice and specific that Ray did that after the last race and he's still there chasing hard here's Ryan Smith though let's put this in context Ryan Smith we, we bang on rather a lot about how many oh we'll come back to Ryan because that is in pit lane Steve Powell has made it back to pit lane but loads of damage that's going to be a, a doubtful in my book for race four Here's Ryan Smith again, and again, OK, started this one off the front, because remember we have two front of the grid races now for the fastest, and two reverse grid races, but in this one he hasn't had to pass anybody, but he has built a lead over David Jenkins, and I'm going to take nothing away from David Jenkins either, because he too has pulled away from the rest of the fighters that we saw in Division 1. We're now back with Division 2, this is Adam Bint running in second place, so Binty having a good strong run here and as you heard that truck is for sale back with division one third fourth and fifth Richard Collett here finally getting some reliability the Brands Hatch opening round of the year he had one start and a non-finish so at this meeting he's picked up his first points there is the race leader and you saw a flash of David Jenkins in second position so whilst Ryan Smith has done the business out front so too is the second place man David Jenkins here is the leader in Division 2 Luke Garrett has got a massive massive lead in this race and the championship as well he'll move on from 153 points to he's got fastest lap as well be 169 points in the championship Paul Rivet was a 1-2-3 won't move for that so Luke Garrett uh, could actually park the truck at the end of this race go home and still have the championship lead here is David Jenkins great job from him there's Jim Bennett in 28 towards the uh, maybe now, I was just working out whether Jim's going to be lapsed before the end of this race he gamely goes on in the set and Atkinson and I reckon Ryan Smith on the current pace may just catch him it's going to be nip, nip and tuck be, uh, between now and the end of the race as the uh, Luke Garrett continues on his way Graham Powell having a decent run as well it's nice to see Graham Powell on on camera three retirements and a ninth at Brandsack so good to see him getting stuck in and he's fourth in class at the moment as you can see John Powell is immediately ahead of him so John completing the division two podium at the moment and Graham whilst showing some signs of wear on the truck is still on circuit as Richard Collett has pulled out a little bit of a lead in that third position over John Newell there is David Jenkins working hard in second place in the digraph I have Jenkins truck sport machine look how much of a gap he's got over the battle for third so both he and Ryan Smith have worked so hard off over the course of this race to build a huge gap out and this is fastest off I know a lot of drivers will say that they preferred the uh, the championship format with the fastest off the front only in race one but you know what we're still seeing some some good racing in the mid order these two working hard once you get the space in these races about getting the extra point for fastest lap there is Luke Garrett well clear and just trying to work out who's gonna see John Bowler's not in this race so Paul Rouvet, Steve Powell, John Bowler, Brad Smith might well go into third place in the championship uh, in this race but he's fifth so ten point gonna have to do the maths after the race anyway here is Binty not that uh, far ahead at the moment of John Powell who is going to maybe move up ahead of Eric Forstrom in this race as well in the championship standings and Richard Collett looking like a podium for Richard Collett here because Ray Coleman is keeping John Newell busy in the closing stages the crowd have had a superb battle between these three it's now between the two of them for fourth place so the first non-podium finish or first non-podium place and Mark Taylor not that far behind as well as the 18 truck heads Ray Coleman I think he's got the better of him for now meanwhile we said it was going to be nip and tuck at the end this is the last lap Jim Bennett I think might have a lap put on him by the 
overall race leader and Division 1 champion. Championship leader Ryan Smith goes through on the inside line, does put a lap on Bennett. She won't have to do another lap. Ryan Smith wins again, three out of three this weekend. David Jenkins, another podium for Jenks. Meanwhile, here's the battle for third place. Richard Collett has been closed down on now on the closing laps by John Newell, who's having a run, and John Newell gets in sideways. I thought he was going to look up the inside line, and he did. If he'd carried on going forward, maybe that was showboating, I don't know. But anyway, he finishes fourth. Richard Collett is back on the truck racing podium. There is Mark Taylor, who finishes in sixth. And the next truck to come round is going to be the lead Division 2 truck of Luke Garrett who is about 10 seconds clear of Adam Bint with John Powell, John Nelson Powell, next up in the number six truck, who is going to grab a podium. Good to see John on the podium. Congratulations to Ryan Smith and Luke Garrett, our two winners. Binty will take second. There he is. There's the chequered flag for Binty, and third place goes to John Powell. Let's take a look at the overall result here of our third race reach of the categories at Druxton. Ryan Smith, the winner from David Jenkins and Richard Collett. John Newell next to Ray Coleman and Mark Taylor, Division 2, headed by Luke Garrett from Adam Bint. John Powell and brother Graham. Then it was Brad Smith. That was probably 15 minutes of the fastest truck racing you'll ever see. If it wasn't for Ryan, we'd look brilliant here this weekend, wouldn't we? You know, <laughs> it, it, I mean, the pace was just absolutely relentless at the front. We, we were both went faster than we went in qualifying. You know, that, and, and still towards the end of the race, we both got the tyre management under control now. Um, yeah, no excuses, just uh, just a little bit outpaced then, but a great result for us nonetheless. Adam, when we spoke to you yesterday when you got to third place, you weren't that happy with engines and so forth, clearly you've sorted it. Well, we haven't sorted it, but we found out it's an electrical gremlin. Um, we're quite happy that the engine's okay, it's just the, the technology that's letting me down. Two podiums though, in the weekend and we've still got the grand final. Yeah, yeah, uh, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be on the podium for that one. Um, the lads are working hard with, with a bit of alteration to do it. We're like a pogo stick out there today. So we need to make a few alterations and we should be up there. I've seen that Paul was right on my tail going into the complex. Um, I heard some tyre squeaks looked in the mirror and I've seen, just seen Paul spinning. So um, yeah, it was a bit, of a bit of drama for the first few corners, but um, I seemed to break away and just sort of uh, plod along at my own pace, really. Grand final race to go, another combined grid, but not too much time turnaround time. So I take it you're good to go anyway. Yeah, I think we're just gonna. We've got a couple more tyres on rims that we're gonna put on because, um, like I said before, it's a, it's a quite a tyre eater here. So, um, but besides that, the truck's set up fine. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's just an easy swap the wheels round and off we go. Luke Garrett makes all the prep sound so easy, doesn't he? Swap the wheels round and get back out there. He's on row three. We've got the Division Two trucks off the front. Headed by Jim Bennett and Brad Smith. The Division 1 trucks, therefore, in a bit of a pursuit race here. Mark Taylor and John Newell off the front of the grid in this one. And we don't have Ray Coleman, sadly, in this race. Just the five Division 1 trucks. Wish Ray well. Look forward to seeing him later on in the season. So, Luke Garrett, both the championship leaders, starting on row three of their respective grids. Luke Garrett looking to try and gain another win here in Division 2. Good to see Steve Powell and also Paul Rivette out. Loads of work done by them. The Division 2s are underway. Our inset is... Look at that. Garrett's through into lead position already. The Division 1s are a long, long way behind. I'll be surprised if we get the Division 1s too far up the Division 2 grid by the end of the race, but we'll see how that goes as the Division 1s get ready for their start. David Jenkins looking very keen. Lights are out. Jenkins going to the outside line. Three wide as they go into Allard. Mark Taylor leading. John Newell next up. Richard Collett on the inside. David Jenkins in the high hand machine outside. Gets a touch on the grass. Look how much momentum he lost there. Jenkins down to fifth. Ryan Smith passes him. Smith challenging for fourth place on Richard Collett. Collett hard on the brakes. Locks up. Clouts the side of John Newell, who's been in some physical action there this weekend. And Richard Collett's not going to be a podium in this one, I don't think, in Division 1. As Luke Garrett leads, Brad Smith is second. Brad Smith, I think, second in the championship standings now as well. I reckon he's on 127 points. Needs to be confirmed by the championship organisers. Graham Powell is next up from John Bowler, who sat out the last race. You can see the... Bits missing on the truck. He's sixth in the championship. Paul Rivet, I think, still third. We'll get the final table for you, obviously, at the end of the proceedings for today's programme. But it's Luke Garrett, the leader, 
from John Powell, who's climbed from seventh into fifth at this meeting so far. And John in third, coming under pressure from his brother Steve, with Brad Smith in second. This a podium back, and Graham Powell in the mix as well. So the three brothers all together. It is a family sport, on track, very much off track as well, as the Division 1 battle for the lead comes up into the chicane. Ryan Smith through into second, rides the curbs. Look at the precision on Ryan Smith's driving there. And although he, it slides, he keeps the momentum going and pulls away from John Newell, who's down to third place. David Jenkins fourth. Richard Collett still in fifth. Collett hasn't lost that much speed after that knock going into the complex. But it's Mark Taylor leading from Ryan Smith. So the two teammates are Taylor 1-2 at the moment. Challenge on for third place there by David Jenkins. Brad Smith second. Third place, John Powell from brother Graham. Steve has dropped back in his, his free felt chart. They've done so well, Steve Powell's team, as have Paul Rivette's team to get his truck, the black and blue one, the WD Motorsport Taco Sys truck, get it back out on track after a hefty shunt in that third Division Two race. But great to see them back out. But one and two in this race are, by my maths, one and two in the championship. There is John Powell brother Graham next up Steve trying to fight back Adam Bint who's had a reasonable meeting as well in the Volvo White is in the mix too Eric Forstrom longest distance traveller by far is a little bit of wheel arch pinging off I think the 55 truck really nice to see Graham Powell getting some decent mileage in that truck as well and got his point scoring very much underway this weekend new leader which is Ryan Smith. Now, Ryan's at the front of Division 1. Two questions. Will he get past this lap? Answer, probably. Second question, how far into the Division 2 mix will he get by the end of the race? This is the fascinating prospect for the race fans that are here at Thruxton enjoying the sunshine. A commendable decision by the British Truck Racing Association management to put the Division 2s out front. I know not everybody will agree with it, but... You just look at the entertainment value of it, absolutely superb to see the chasing going on. As you can see, the battling though in Division 2 is absolutely frenetic. Steve Powell's got the upper hand over Paul Rivette on the two badly damaged machines from the previous race. It's still Luke Garrett. I'd be surprised if we see Luke Garrett beating in this one. He, he's away. Is he going to get the overall win, though? And will the Division 1 trucks catch up? And how far will they go? He's got a pack of four for second place. Mark Taylor up ahead of John Newell. Then David Jenkins in the digraph. And I just love David's comment about that was the fastest truck race you'll ever see. He's probably right about that. It was an absolute scorching base with he and Ryan Smith blistering away from the field. But John Newell looking handy here at the moment as well there is Luke Garrett the outright leading driver getting away and the view from Brad Smith's truck blue skies light cloud cover it's enough for the weather forecast but what's the forecast for Brad is he going to get a P2 here Graham Powell at the moment is next up from John Bowler then Adam Bint Eric Forstrom now we've got Paul Rivette ahead of Steve Powell so Paul making progress Amazing that those two trucks are, are even out on track, to be honest, but superb job, job done by them as Brad Smith in second place goes with John Powell in third. Graham Powell in fourth. Let's see what Eric Forstrom could do. The two bonneted trucks together. Adam Bint in the all-black Sisu giving chase the Finnish driver as David Jenkins looks for third place on the inside line of John Newell. Here's the race leader. Ryan Smith, Jim Bennett is the uh, first target for the Division 1 trucks to come through and Jim has seen them, great driver Jim, moves it across the outside of the circuit, still enjoying very much his racing but you can see now that the progress being made by the Division 1 trucks, Battle of the Bonnet still going on, Sisu chasing Volvo White, very picturesque with the hills in the background here at Thruxton, we've got the new VARC centre here as well, side by side the two bonnets, let's see whether Eric Forstrom here, he's got the inside line, Binty's going to try and hang on to it on the outside line of Campbell, through Cobb loses it, coming down towards Seagrave corner, Paul Rivet on the outside line, no he's not, tucked back in he's going to look at the inside of Binty as they come out of the complex, 
is Brad Smith still in second place. Luke Garrett heading down the road with the fastest lap still. Third in class is still John Powell. Eric Forstrup getting away from Binti now. He's got his mirrors full of the drivers who were second and third in the championship coming into this round. So, tell you what, not only have those trucks been refettled well, but they're going real well as Adam Bint gets it sideways going down there out of Noble into Goodwood um, and manages to hang on to it. John Newell driving very well indeed and soaking up loads of pressure here from David Jenkins, who is looking try and bag another P2. But Jenkins not looking perhaps as sharp as we've seen him earlier on in the meeting, but still bagging points. But he's at the moment on 157. Ryan Smith on 162. 166 points for Ryan Smith. I thought I'd done my maths wrong there, but yeah, he's got uh, 166 points. So again, still pulling clear, nine points clear of David Jenkins as Eric Forstrom leads Adam Bint. Binti with Paul Rivette right behind him at the WD Motorsport Tacos' back car. Binti looking very squirrely there. And I would suggest that uh, it's track surface as well adding to that as jo uh, Steve Powell starts to get stuck into Paul Rivette again. Those two dicing hard and you could argue that was the cause of the clash between the two because I think Rivette had the sideways moment and then Steve Powell was that close that contact was going to be inevitable as Rivette looks on the inside line here and goes through. Paul Rivette passes Adam Bint. So Paul looking to try and head up towards the podium in the refettled truck. We've got the Division 1 leader Ryan Smith in amongst these guys now as well. So Ryan with his lights on. He's, going to, he's already passed Steve Powell. Looks to the outside line of Adam Bint. Binty will be aware the drivers will have that in their thought process that the leading Division 1 trucks will start to come through. And Ryan Smith, the job not being made easy. Ryan Smith doesn't mind though, loves the challenge. He'll continue to carve his way through the field as we watch John Powell still there. John running in third place from his brother Graham. Then, oh, and a little sideways moment from Binti once again there. Former champion in Division 2, Adam Bint. Still there as the Powell brothers get stuck in. John Powell chased by Graham. Graham really going well at the moment. John Newell under big pressure from the diagraph machine of David, David Jenkins. What a battle we've got on for second position in Division 1. A titanic battle. And the race fans, of course, don't know where to look because you've got the Division 2 battles going on as well as the Division 1s, and it keeps the entertainment going on all the way. There is Brad Smith, who is running in second place. Ryan Smith is, uh, I think possibly on for a podium Richard Collett going a tad slow sadly so did have that contact on lap one it's been very physical for Rick Collett as uh, the scrap goes on between Mark Taylor John Newell and David Jenkins Brad Smith's got clear track ahead of him Luke Garrett's disappeared away Mark Taylor could be on for another podium and uh, Mark here will be be keen to do that podium at each event so far remember he's, this is his first full season now Eric Forstrom coming under pressure from the division one leader Ryan Smith Ryan's got the inside line he's going to do the same on John Bowler as well John's seen him great driving from the two division two boys and great driving from this division two runner as well still the championship and race lead the man from Radstock Luke Garrett extends his lead. I don't think there's going to be enough time for Ryan Smith to close in. He's about to try and pass John Bowler as Luke Garrett goes on to the last lap. So Luke Garrett is going to win the race outright. It's been a long time since we've seen a Division 2 truck take an outright mixed truck win, even from the uh, front of the grid. Brad Smith second. And here's the battle for third place and Graham Powell looks down the inside and he's going to grab that. So Graham Powell moves up into a podium position. This is great news to see Graham Powell back up on a podium. So many drivers in Division 2 capable of taking podium positions and Graham Powell passes 
his brother John, who's had a super weekend, and they're being closed down on now by Ryan Smith. Ryan Smith here, he knows he's got the Division 1 win in the bag, and he's going to go for an overall podium from the back of a double reverse grid field. Incredible stuff, as John Newell and David Jenkins still very much engaged in the battle for third, and Mark Taylor here could get a P2. Ricky Collett slowing down, that might be a retirement for call it Mark Taylor could be a career best second place here for Mark and that is going to be a big big confidence boost for him as Luke Garrett that immaculate 42 truck he's kept out of trouble completely this weekend through Brooklands up Woodham Hill in towards the club chicane and there'll be a lot of clapping and cheering for him probably even more so for Ryan Smith for what he's achieved in this race coming through and challenging for third which, which he's got Ryan Smith is into third place overall Stunning stuff. The 55 truck of Graham Powell running in fourth position. Third place in Division 2 as Luke Garrett takes the chequered flag and wins round 12 of the championship here at Thruxton. David Jenkins busy chasing. Watch for the checker. The inset. Brad Smith takes second place on the inset. Third and showboating. Another win for Ryan Smith. Smith takes it, then it is Graham Powell third across the line from his brother John, then John Bowler and Eric Forstrom, Paul Rivette. Here comes Mark Taylor, he's going to take second position, second, third and fourth all together in Division 1. It's so close, but Mark Taylor takes second position ahead of John Newell. Luke Garrett winning overall from Brad Smith. Division one win for Ryan Smith. It's a one-two for the Taylors team. Mark Taylor finishing in second place. Let's hear from our overall victor, Luke Garrett. It's a real good weekend. Obviously, that was a, a good finish of the day. Um, I, I really wanted the overall win. So when I heard they were reversing, putting Div 1s behind Div 2s, obviously, I had to get away as quick as possible, which is obviously what I tried my best to do. So, uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a good day. Yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoy this, this, this format and uh, I hope we get to do it again. Good if you get a good start and you can, like I say, get a bit of pace in front of you. And um, yeah, yeah, it was a good, good race. Yeah. No, no, the, the lads, the, we all know what we're doing. Uh, we all give each other room. I, I think it was great for the spectators. We've done really well with the truck. Um, we are building another one, well, another two. Uh, one should be out next year, but this one, this should keep going. Pole position, four wins, four fastest laps. We haven't got the biggest team in the paddock, but we've certainly got the most hard working and most reliable, and the trust between me and uh, Aaron and Nick, the, the new lad we've just brought on with us, is immense and uh, it's a team effort and everybody knows it. And I'd like to say thank you to all sponsors as well. Maybe the last time you see this, uh, this uh, young lady, should I call her, because uh, obviously the new truck should be rolled out at Donington or if not before, so great pace. Truck's amazing, you know, competitors are up the game. Division 2, credit to race with them. You know, I think we've had a fantastic weekend all round. If we could have wrote it, I don't know if we could have wrote it this good, but no, great event. Yeah, yeah really happy with that. I had an excellent race from my brother. And, uh, yeah, it's a shame he got a five-second penalty, really, because he, he took me on the track and he had the position. So, but, you know, racing's racing. So, yeah, no, it's all good, though. Good to see, actually, with that reverse format of, of classes there, that everyone was good, clean driving, good respect out there. Yeah, in my opinion, that that definitely needs to happen. You know, it's it, it's good for the spectators and it's good for us. I actually forgotten about it until I see Ryan in the mirror, and uh, then I followed him through and tried to get through on my brother. So yeah, for me it works. <laughs> Second in class there, very good race overall between the class there, and great for the Taylor's team. Yep, it were um, it were a good end to weekend. We have we we got truck. We we went out first time on yesterday. It were good but not perfect, so we've been tweaking it through day. We've put it back to last settings, where we've come down on. Perfect, it's gone down, gone round like a dream today. So. Ryan Smith extends the championship lead, 13 points ahead of David Jenkins, with John Newell third from Mark Taylor. Ray Coleman fifth now, ahead of Stuart Oliver, with Richard Collett in seventh. In Division Two, Luke Garrett 53 points clear of Paul Rivette and Brad Smith, with Steve Powell ahead of brother John and John Bowler in sixth. That's our racing action complete here from Thruxton. Please join us next time. It's at Donington Park. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.